guys, for the return of beauty beacons, I have chosen a personal beauty beacon of fiction, and that is Elizabeth Swan. Elizabeth Swan is the leading lady in the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, movies, part one, two, and three, and in her kind of everything comes together. I love The Pirates of the Caribbean, it's one of my favorite movie series. I absolutely admire Keira Knightley, she is so gorgeous, so talented. I pretty much love any movie with her and it's an 18th century look and it's beautiful. <laughs> so the character of Elizabeth Swan is the kind of typical damsel in distress that throughout the movies turns into a fierce pirate. She is the governor's daughter who befriends pirate Jack Sparrow and uh, William Turner, blacksmith turned pirate. Um, <laughs> if you haven't seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, I highly recommend you do. But today I wanted to recreate Elizabeth's look, one of her earlier looks when she's still, you know, the governor's daughter. I inspired this hairstyle or I kind of attempted to recreate the hairstyle from uh, the last scenes of the first movie where she's wearing this beautiful cream dress and um, she has her hair up in this very formal elaborate hair style so this is what I um, ended up creating 18th century hair was not made to be done on one's own hair guys I have tried it several times now and it is just so hard to do but I think I managed pretty well and this is doable on your own hair it just needs a little bit of practice nerves of steel and you'll be good to go let's save that for later as always we're going to begin with the makeup so for this I am going to start by applying some foundation to my face to even up my skin and then apply some concealer to my dark circles and any imperfections that I have, spots here and there. And I'm going to make sure my whole face is a nice, even blank canvas. When everything is blended in perfectly, I'm going to apply a layer of powder on top to set everything and mattify my face. So it is time to do some contour. Kira Knightley has some gorgeous cheekbones, so I'm going to try and kind of recreate that with a little bit of contour powder. I'm just going to take a brush and swipe this contour powder underneath my cheekbones to make them a little bit more prominent. And I'm also going to apply contour powder underneath my jaw to make my jawline a little bit more square and kind of resemble hers a little bit more. And then it's time to work on the eyebrows. So I always like to kind of change my features a little bit to resemble the person more. So I'm going to kind of try and make my eyebrows look a little bit more like Kira's. So I am going to take a light eyebrow color, a little bit lighter than I normally use. She has a little bit of a lighter hair color and her eyebrows are very natural in this movie. So I'm going to try and keep mine as light as possible. And I'm going to fill them in so that they're a little bit straighter on the bottom and a little bit more pointy on the top. And that's going to automatically make them a little bit thicker as well. And that just makes them look more like Kira Knightley's eyebrows on me. So for my eyelashes, I am only going to curl them. No mascara, we're going for a very no makeup makeup look here. So then on my cheeks, I'm going to apply a rosy blush. Um, pretty much just on the apples, kind of blended out towards the back. But we want this to be very subtle and natural. And then for the lips, I'm also going to go for a kind of rosy nude-ish color. So I'm going to just pat some red lipstick into my lips with my finger first for a kind of natural soft look and then go over with a little bit of a um, kind of warm peachy nude. And that's going to create a color very similar to what Elizabeth's wearing in the movie. All right, so makeup's done. That was the easy part. Now moving on to the hair. I'm going to start by spraying my hair with heat protector to make sure I don't fry it with my curling iron. And then I'm going to start sectioning off my hair and curling my entire head of hair. And every time I make a curl, I'm going to pin it to my head to set and make sure the curl doesn't drop while I'm curling the rest of my hair. So when I've curled my whole head of hair, I'm going to take down these pins again and release my curls. And I'm going to start working on my poof in the front here. So I'm just going to take the front couple of um, curls that I had and pin the rest back for now so that all the hairs are kind of facing in the right direction when I pinned the top hairs on top of it, if that makes any sense. It'll make sense later. <laughs> so all of these front sections, I am going to comb so that the curls kind of clump together and form kind of one big curl. I'm going to tease this hair and create a little poof. That kind of iconic 18th century poof. So 
So since I have bangs, I'm going to separately also tease my bangs and surprisingly enough, this makes them stand right up and I don't need to do anything else to blend my bangs into the hairstyle, which is great. So <laughs> I can move on to the rest. Now, if you're going for a um, kind of more tousled, piratey Elizabeth look, then you can just leave your hair like this because this is how she wears her hair throughout most of the movie. But I'm going to continue and do a full hairstyle. So, so the ends of my hair from that poof, I'm going to gather together brush together to make them form one curl and then I'm going to form a roll. So I'm just going to wrap this around my fingers, create a roll and then pin that down to my head. Now we're going to make a bunch of rolls on the back of the head. So I am taking a section of hair from the back, kind of on the top of my head. I'm going to tease this a little bit to create a little bit more volume and make the hair a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm going to shape this into a roll that is going to go sideways towards the right side of my head. And then I'm going to form a roll again. And this is all about molding. Take your time with this. Um, I mean, it's okay to redo this a couple of times. You want the roll to be quite high up on the head. I kind of created these rolls using the same technique I tend to use for my victory rolls. So I kind of mold the body of my hair and then with the ends, I form this little roll that I then push inwards and pin at the bottom of the roll towards my scalp. When that is done, I'm going to take hair from a little bit lower. Don't forget to leave out a little piece of hair for your um, kind of side curl here. And I'm going to, again, tease that a little bit and form a small roll that is going to go a little bit lower on my head. And then with all the remaining hair, except for the little side curl, I am just going to tease that again comb it upwards and then create a roll in between those two that I just created. So the top one and the bottom one. Make sure that everything is pinned securely. Stick in extra pins if you need to. And there is the hairstyle already done. So it sounds really simple. It may look very complicated. You just need to play with it a little bit. I mean, it's doable. So yeah, I guess that is the Elizabeth Swan look all done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. There is another video here that you may also enjoy that you can go watch next. If you have any requests for fictional beauty beacons or um, real life historical beauty beacons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I will pick someone out for next time. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking here or on the red button below and I will see you very soon in my next video.